Also, this cardboard box is full of goodies that my mom gave me to hand out to my friends. I think it's hilarious that she thinks I have this many friends. I think it's festive, but you know, just to clear up why there's a big cardboard box. I think we're gonna start here because this is honestly like my favorite little spot of the room. Something that I noticed that I think is a little weird that the desk doesn't really have drawers. It's just like open like this. It's kind of annoying because you have to keep it neat all the time but like it also motivates me to keep it clean. I have my purses, my film camera, my regular camera's back there somewhere, my little safe, some food storage, and then a whole bunch of notebooks. I also like to keep my backpack here in this little corner. I just feel like it fits really nicely and it kind of matches everything so I don't mind it being out. Okay, what I'm about to open is like one of my favorite parts of my room. One of the first things I put in my Amazon cart when I knew I was moving in was these clear storage bins because I love them so much. They keep everything really nice and organized and I just know I can go in and find exactly what I need in like two seconds. This is a scale roller from my theater class. I have my regular roller, just a bunch of knickknacks. This is a bunch of random things too. Command strips and chargers. This is my pencil bin. These are my highlighters. We got scissors, hole puncher, staples. This is like refills for mechanical pencils plus the pencil sharpener. Then we have some pencils. These these are just like markers and like gel pen type of things. But yeah, I honestly like, I'm obsessed with this drawer. I love it so much. Moving on to my actual desk. It normally is not this clean, don't worry. I just cleaned it for you guys. I made this little schedule thing to put on my binder and I don't know, I just, I love it so much. Obviously I know where all my classes are at this point, but it's just like, I don't know, it's, it's cute. My headphones, I use these all the time. They were like really cheap on Amazon, but computer obviously. We have my little crystal moon. I think I got the container for my birthday one year and I just love it so much. I think it's so cute and it holds them all so well. Here's my postcard wall. And if you're a true fan, which I hope you are, you would know that I hung these up in my move-in vlog. Love this window here so much. These disco balls, like literally my favorite things ever, are from Five Below, and I think they were like under five bucks. Then we have these little leaf accents. All the leaf accents in my room are from one like big pack on Amazon. This is a plant that died. I don't know how because I thought I was taking good care of it. This is my little ring holder thing. My family got this for me because they know how much I love my rings. This is like a really big crystal that my friend Emily got me and I love her so much and I just like keep her here so she can like take in all the sunlight and the moonlight and like charge. You know, also this little sheets. Oh my God, I can't talk. This little seashell, some pics. And then this plant, she is thriving. She's looking gorgeous. I don't know what happened to this one. I also have my little Halloween decorations up. But yeah, I think that's everything. These are also from Five Below. I think again, like five bucks. I think they really added something to this wall because there was not anything here. It just looked a little too plain. Again, we have our leaf. I try to border everything with the leaves because I feel like it just added something to the room, made it a little more like 
whimsical, if you know what I mean. Um, I'll show you my closet, why not? Why not? Because I'm actually impressed with the closet space here. It's actually pretty big, I feel like, for a dorm. So up here, I just have bins. I can't really see inside of them, but it's just like extra sheets. I know my laundry stuff isn't there. I know I have beach towels in there. And I have all the bags that I came here with all in one. Um, and then over here is obviously the clothes that I just didn't want to put into my dresser. I got my little presidential scholar shirt. I've not had to wear it yet, but I just think it's so adorable. Over here, I just kind of have my ukulele. I never play it. And then my suitcase for when I go back home. And my beach chair is buried somewhere back there because I honestly don't use it when I go to the beach. I usually just bring my towel. Hamper, self-explanatory, and then all the shoes that I don't really wear that often, I just put there. Here's the unfinished painting. All of this stuff again is from Five Below. I literally, I was like, I couldn't find wall art that I liked. And so I was like, I might as well just make my own. We just love a good DIY project over here. We have my bed. And we have my posters. In case you're wondering about the like weird space here in between the bed and the posters. Basically, when I first moved in and I put up the posters, my bed was raised up really freaking high. Basically, I would have been sleeping about here. Now you're thinking, that's great, Nadia, why would you move it? People love their high beds, they put all their storage under the beds. One, I didn't really have anything that I needed to store under my bed personally. Two, look at how high this is in comparison to me. I feel like it went off, but like it was like, it was like up to my collarbone and I'm not trying to like dive into bed every night. I just, that's way better to me. I spent like hours finding these on pinterest because i'm a little crazy but you can obviously just order like a set from amazon and it would look just as fine i wanted posters that were like a reflection of my personality and also like had everyone that i wanted to be on my wall on my wall and i read and we got Haley, and we got lana and we just got all these little sea creatures and green tones that i just wanted to like match in with the rest of my room these covers they're like actually kind of a grayish blue. I feel like they turn out darker in here than they were in the store, but I still really like them. The two pillows that are the same color as the blanket are on the set together. And then this is my silk pillowcase. This is George. And he's got a little shark hoodie. My family sent him to me. This is the comfiest, coziest blanket from Amazon. I mainly just picked this one because it was sage green, but it's so comfy. It has this fluffy side, and then it has this like smoother side. I'd like to sleep with the smoother side facing me because I just like the way it feels better. This rug is also from Amazon. Over here we have my fridge. I am obsessed with this fridge. I want to say a normal dorm fridge is around like 150 to 175. This was 200, but I just think it was worth it for me because it just looks so cute. And it has a separate freezer and fridge. We have this cutesy little garbage. Super cheap, but I just love the texture on it. And then these are my like shoes that I wear the most. So I just keep them there. And I think they kind of fit in with like the vibe of my room anyway. And then this is a drawing that my brother made for me. These are just my various beverage cups, but I like how they all kind of match, so I keep them up here. This is a like pig collage that my bestie made for me. Literally every time I look at it, I just want to like scream and die and throw up and like collapse on the floor because I miss her so much and I miss all my friends so much. One thing that I find so funny about this is that this picture was taken in spring and this one was taken in summer. And you can tell the difference in both of our tans so well and I think it's hilarious. This mirror thing was another thing that was kind of a splurge, but I do really love it it keeps me organized and i'll show you why so it's actually more than a mirror because you can open it up and look at this and then look at this open this a place for you to do your hair to do your makeup to get your jewelry on to do skincare it's all there all at once the only thing that i think is funny is my dad hung it for me and i had to buy a stool on amazon because literally this is where my head is this is my pov that's how tall you gotta be to use it look at that lighting difference okay like hello oh one more thing this white thing right here is an air purifier this thing though is literally my best friend because Fingers crossed, I have not gotten sick once since I've been here, which is a crazy statement for a freshman because literally everyone here has had the freshman flu like on and off for two months. And I would say clear that. And I swear a lot of it is to do with having an air filter in my room. I feel like it's so important to have, especially someplace where there's no fresh air. Like literally, there's no way to get fresh air in this dorm. So I'm having one of those days where I just need like floor time. 
I don't know if you guys do this, but I just need some floor time right now. Mama needs some floor time. Let me know if you have any more questions. Wait, I should show you guys the outside too. I'm gonna do that. Okay, I thought I'd done for a minute and then I had another idea and I was like, I got more stuff that I wanna put in this. So I just went out into the hallway and I filmed what our little kitchen looks like. The counter space is pretty nice and there's a lot of cabinet space, honestly. There's four girls in this dorm and we don't even use like half the cabinet space. And the counter space is big enough to fit like a bunch of appliances. We're all sharing an air fryer and microwave, but I know some people choose to have their own microwave in their own room. Other than the kitchen area, there's no real space for like a living room or anything like that. So if you ever have friends over, they're gonna be hanging out like in your room. I I do have to say though, I think this is really, really nice freshman housing. I've heard horror stories from other freshman housing. This is also your nicest freshman housing option at NSU, I would say. Because people call Leo Goodwin Hoodwin. People call CLC a jail cell. So in comparison, Commons is like the best thing ever. I absolutely love that there are two bathrooms for four people. So I only have to share a bathroom with one other person. Anyways. You guys know I could sit here and yap for hours. I'm not gonna do that. But if you have any questions about anything I just talked about or showed you, come.